North American beavers are the only known mammals that continuously modify channel structure and flow by constructing dams. Woody riparian vegetation is critical for the building of beaver dams and sustaining population numbers. Dams contribute to aggradation of the stream channel through sediment deposition and provide a number of other ecological benefits discussed later in this video. At our study site, the current local populations of beaver have been unsuccessful with dam persistence due to the sole availability of bitterbrush, sagebrush, and juniper. Our study reach, a 1,200-acre property known as the Jake Place, lies roughly 51 miles east of Prineville, Oregon. Our restoration application spans three miles of the spring-fed South Fork of the Crooked River. Here, historic management practices involving irrigation and large-scale ranching have resulted in stream straightening and significantly reduced woody riparian vegetation. Furthermore, the historical use of Jake Place has effectively incised stream banks, lowered stream beds, lowered summer flows, raised stream temperatures, disconnected the stream from historic floodplains, and degraded riparian habitat. Artificially constructed beaver dam analogs, known as BDAs, have been found to be an effective method used to restore stream parameters related to anadromous fish habitat, as well as increase dam persistence and grade in size river ecosystems. However, no known research has been completed involving the influence of BDAs on riparian vegetation persistence and reestablishment. Previous efforts spearheaded by Oregon Natural Desert Association involving the planting of thousands of native plants such as willow, alder, and aspen found both upstream and downstream of our study reach. Unfortunately, these plantings were entirely unsuccessful. Therefore, the purpose of our project is to use BDAs as a tool to raise the water table and reconnect historic floodplains to encourage the establishment of these important species which should naturally recolonize from individuals upstream and from other seed dispersal methods. In order to determine if results were correlated with our BDA installations, baseline measurements were taken to classify and measure fluvial geomorphic units such as pools, riffles, and substrate. Floodplains were also measured and well documented as well as current and historic beaver activity. Soil moisture probes and sensors were installed and data collected prior to BDA installation to monitor the influence of these tools on vol volumetric soil moisture. Using the data collected, we chose installation sites that provided maximum inundation and flooding of the surrounding floodplains. BDA construction involved the collection of willow and juniper branches, the installation of post lines, weaving of the willow and juniper, and the addition of rocks, mud, roots, grasses to help stabilize the structures. During the Grand Team Challenge, we installed two willow weave post lines, one juniper weave post line, and another solitary post line. There was an immediate rise in water level after BDA installation. Surrounding floodplains have further inundated, and small side channels have begun to form since then. Further monitoring will display trends in vegetation response and soil moisture data over time. The beaver dam analog behind me has accomplished two of the goals of the restoration, including widening of the green zone and aggradation of the stream bed. I'm going to go into the dam to show you just how much the dam has graded over the course of one year. The beaver dam analog behind me did not withstand the high flows this winter. This informs us that we need to consider additional reinforcement during construction.